Welcome to edupediaworld.com. You are watching the videos on statistics. So in this video, we will discuss some more questions, some more related concepts to polygon. How we can draw the polygon without using a hysterogram or without drawing a hysterogram. So it's very important, very uh, important from the exam point of view. So you have to watch again this part of a video very carefully, right? So let's get started with the first, which is introduction. Now, frequency polygon without hysterogram. Now frequency polygons can also be drawn independently without drawing hysterogram. So it means that we, we need not to draw hysterogram. Before that in the previous video you must have seen if we are first drawing hysterograms. However in this video or we'll explain that how without drawing hysterogram we can draw frequency polygons. For this we require the midpoints of the class intervals used in the data and these midpoints of the class intervals are called the class marks. It's a very important concept. They will generally ask the question like this, what is a class mark? So you should know how to find a class mark and you should know the concept of class mark, right? Now, to find a class mark, it is upper limit plus lower limit upon 2, right? So let's uh, explain this concept with example. Let's say we have a data like this, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, right? Then we have, let's say, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, right? Then we have 50 to 60, right? Let's say this is a data. Then we have a frequency, let's say 2, 5, 6, 8, 9, right? So, first of all, what is a class mark? Class mark is upper limit plus lower limit upon 2. So, this is the upper limit. This is the upper limit right and this is the lower limit right now so this means the class mark will be upper limit 10 plus 0 upon 2 so which is 5 as you can see also we have done this part in the previous videos also so 5 is a midpoint between 0 to 10 so similarly for this this is a lower limit and this is the upper limit so for this the class mark will be 20 plus 10 upon 2 so which will be 30 upon 2 so which is 15 so this is how we use or we find the class mark right so let's discuss one example related to this question so that we can better understand how we can draw a polygon without hysterogram right so let's do it then now so in this question it's given that in a city the weekly observations made in a study on the cost of living index are given the following table right so it's a cost of living index is given in the tables let's say between 140 to 150 its number of weeks are 5 and 150 to 160 it's 10 so this is all the data it's given now we need to draw a frequency polygon for the above data without constructing the hysterogram so we first need to draw frequency polygon without constructing a hysterogram right so for this first of all the first step is we need to find class marks for each right then we need to check all the basic concepts that are needed to draw a polygon right or we can say all the basic concept we need to check when we draw drawing the pictorial representation of a data right so let's do it then so first of all we need to find the class mark for each so let's say 140 to 150 the class mark will be 140 plus 150 upon 2 so which is 290 you can see so 290 upon 2 is 145 right so this way we'll find the class mark and we'll draw another table like this so let's say we have another table like this and like this right so over here we can write cost of living index right then over here we can have we can say class marks which is a midpoint then over here we can have frequency right so for first class which is 140 to 150 
the class mark is 145 and the frequency is 5 so similarly for the next class 150 to 160 we need to find the class mark so it is 150 plus 160 upon 2 so which is 310 upon 2 so which is 155 so this will be 155 and the frequency is 10 right then we have a class 160 to 170 right so we need to find the class mark so which is 160 plus 170 upon 2 so which is equals to 330 upon 2 so this will come out to be 165 right so we have 165 and the frequency is 20 right then we have a class 170 to 180 and we need to find the class mark so it will be 170 plus 180 upon 2 so which is 350 upon 2 so 350 upon 2 is 175 so this will come out to be 175 and the frequency is 9 right then we have 180 to 190 right so we need to find the class mark so 180 plus 190 upon 2 right so this has 370 upon 2 so when we find it will be 185 right so it will be 185 and the frequency is 6 right then we have 190 to 200 right so we need to find the class mark so which is 190 plus 200 upon 2 so this will come out to be 390 upon 2 so this will come out to be 195 so this is 195 and the frequency is 2 so this is we have now the complete table with the class mark now we need to draw a hysterogram right or fre frequency polygon so let's do it then right so let's say we use like this we have like this and then we draw a table like this right so now what we need to do is we need to do consider the data now the data start from we can see that it starts from 140 to 150 so and it goes up to 200 you can see very clearly so let's start it with a difference of 10 so let's say this is 140 150 160 170 180 190 200 and 210 and this data represents the cost of living index right then over here we have you can say number of weeks now the highest number is 20 so we, this must be the highest frequency so we need to consider data till 20 and so we can consider with the help difference of 2 so let's say this is 2 then it is this is 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 then we have 18 then we have 20 so we have the data now now we need to consider the midpoint so one one is 145 first point is 145 and 5 so we have to interpolate it everything so this is 5 and this will be 145 so this will be the first point let's draw like this then we have 155 and 10 so this is 10 you can see and this is 155 so this is another point then we have 165 and 20 so this is 165 it goes like this and this is 20 right so let's say this is the point then we have 
175 and 9 so this is 175 you can see and 9 will be somewhere over here so let's draw it over here then we have 185 and 6 so this is 185 and this is 6 so this is the point right so we have 195 and 2 so this is 195 and this is 2 right now we need to join all the points like this right so then like this so we have frequency polygon right now we need to consider one preceding and succeeding class to close the frequency polygon so let's say we consider from 130 to 140 so its class mark will be 130 plus 140 upon 2 so which is 270 so it will be 135 so its class mark is 135 and the frequency is 0 right so this mean so this will come over here and we'll close the class like this and we draw the kink over here why we need to draw the kink over here because the classes are not starting from zero so we need to draw a kink over here you should be very careful with this then we need a succeeding class also so it will be 200 to 210 with frequency 0 for this again we need to find a class mark so which is 200 plus 210 upon 2 so which is 410 upon 2 so which is 205 right so with frequency 0 so this will come over here and we join the point so this is a frequency polygon so this is how we draw a frequency polygon without using hysterogram right and frequency polygons you must always remember are always used in a continuous and very large data it is very helpful for comparing two data sets right when we need to compare let's say we have another data set and we need to draw one more frequency polygon so we can draw it over here with using another color then we can compare the different areas and the shape how the shape will look like for the data so this is all about the frequency polygons how we can draw the polygons so thank you once again for watching this video on edupediaworld.com keep watching for the videos have a nice day ahead